So if you missed the announcement via my waitlist, the Premiere Gal keyboard is now available for purchase. It's a hybrid design for both Mac and PC users. It has three levels of backlighting and you can connect it to up to three different devices with Bluetooth at once. It comes in a USA English layout as well as a UK English layout. The UK English version is just slightly different. You can see that on the UK English version, the shift key is smaller and the tilde key is right next to the shift key. And of course, up above on the number three, you'll see the pound sign there, which is not on the US version. And the key beneath escape is different as well. When we first launched the keyboard, there was a limited amount in the beginning, but now we have them back in stock. But if anything becomes out of stock again, you can just click on notify me on the website and you'll be notified. So I designed this keyboard in collaboration with Editor's Keys. And there's a cool story to this relationship. About six years ago, just shortly after I started started this channel, Editor's Keys reached out to me and they're like, hey, do you want to try one of our microphones? So they sent me a USB microphone that I then tested on my channel. And since then, we've kind of had this great testing of products relationship. So then about two or three years ago, they sent me their Premiere Pro shortcut wired keyboard that's backlit. And this one's a bit more bulky and it has kind of a primary color palette. But when they sent it to me, they printed this Gao logo in the corner. And that's what kind of sparked this idea of like, oh, what if we work together to produce a more slimmer design wireless keyboard that kind of matches the aesthetic that I love. And with the wired Premiere Pro version, that is only for either Mac or Windows. You have to buy one for each system. So when we were designing the keyboard, the things that came to mind that were important to include was one, that it was wireless, that it was easily chargeable, that it lasted a long time, and then also that it was hybrid. So you only had to buy one and you could switch between devices. I also wanted it to be a slim design because prior to using this keyboard, I was using the Apple Magic keyboard, the long version of that. So it has a very similar feel to that. And I wanted to update the color scheme as well because the primary colors, it didn't really match my style. I really wanted it to reflect the Premiere Pro colors and then my favorite color, yellow. All right, so let's take a closer look at the design here. So the keyboard itself has a nice sturdy aluminum design and it's very light. And on the back, there is the USB-C charging input here. And over here is where you can turn it on and off. And you can have it charging the same time that you're using it. So if it's a low battery, you can plug it in and you can still use it while it's connected to Bluetooth. And on the back here, there are some non-slip gel points so that way it won't slide on the desk. All very practical. So to connect via Bluetooth, you will see three Bluetooth symbols on the keys one, two, and three. To connect it to your first device, turn it on first, then press the one button, and then go to your computer settings to connect it via Bluetooth. If you wanna connect it to your second device, for example, if I wanted to connect it to my phone here, I would then press number two. I would go to the Bluetooth settings on my phone here and connect it. And then from there, I can just easily tap one if I wanna use my computer and two if I wanna type to my phone using the keyboard, for example. If you're editing at night, which let's be real, a lot of us edit at night because it's where we can focus and get a lot of work done while editing. The backlighting, there's this little lighting button here that you can press three times to get a stronger illumination. So let's get into the shortcuts here in the keys. So the keyboard comes with over a hundred Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts that will help maximize your efficiency while you're editing. And you can use it for regular typing as well. Don't worry about that. We've printed the regular letters in the upper left of each key. So if you're an intermediate user or advanced user of Premiere Pro, you probably know your shortcuts pretty well, but you might forget some occasionally, which is why this shortcut keyboard is great because you can quickly glance down and remember something, or you can find something that you didn't know existed, like a hidden shortcut. For example, I didn't know this up until, you know, just about a couple of years ago when we were working on this keyboard, but shift five opens up the effect controls panel. And I know that I have to go to the effect controls panel a lot when I'm editing, and I can just use the shortcut to quickly open it up without having to click and go there. Same with all these other ones, shift six, opens up the audio mixer. And actually the way that we design this is very intuitive. So this yellow shift key actually corresponds to all of these smaller yellow markings here. So even if you know all your shortcuts or you have custom shortcuts mapped to your keyboard, that's okay because this keyboard is just a beautiful addition to your workspace 
and it doesn't clutter your workspace with excess cables. And I'd love to see photos of you with your Premiere Gal keyboard in your workspace. I'm actually doing a giveaway for this. You can win a microphone, a pop filter, and a vocal booth if A, you share a photo or video of you with the keyboard on Instagram and you tag editor's keys and at premiere underscore gal. And two, you fill out the form in the description box so we can contact you if you win. And if you're interested in shortcut gel keyboard covers, let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a keyboard emoji comment just down below in the comment section. I think it's great having the physical keyboard for a desk setup, but I know that I also work on my laptop all the time and these keyboard covers actually protect the keys. For example, if you spill water on it or anything like that, it's great to have a cover that you can protect your keys with, plus the benefit of having the shortcuts there. So you can go to premiergal.com slash keyboard to go get your keyboard, and I look forward to any feedback you have. Lastly, I just want to give a shout out to Envato Elements because they've been helping me and my editing team level up our editing, not only for the videos we post here on Premiere Gal, but for our client videos as well. We're able to use stock footage, music, sound effects from the site that we can use to spice up our edits. For example, let's say we weren't able to capture some B-roll for an edit, we can search and bought the elements for that stock video clip and use it inside of the edit. And the best part is, is that it's unlimited, right? So you can download as much as you need to, to test out in your edit before you commit, because it's not pay per asset. It's just subscription and you can get as much as you want, including video editing templates as well. And the reason why we really love Envato Elements is because we can use it in any type of project, whether it's a school project or a big budget client. And if you use my link below, you can get 70% off your first month to use Elements. And you can cancel at any time, so there's a low risk and a high reward. And by using my link, it helps support the Gal channel, so thank you in advance and a huge shout out to Elements for really helping improve our edits. That's all for this video. If you have any questions about this keyboard specifically, just leave a comment below. And as always, stay creative and keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.